everybody knows and loves. But the Brendan we're going to talk about today is not your classic World War II Brendan gun. This is a Mark II English made Canadian friend. This is your Brendan from World War II. Changes to the 303 round. You note first magazine because the 303 is a rim, rim cartridge. This particular one, it has this add-on saw grip, that's not standard. But what we're going to do today is talk about a rather different red gun. Because come the late 1950s, for regular standardization, Britain adopts the same 7.62 NATO cartridge as the rest of NATO. And for the L1A1 self-loading rifle. Along with the SL30 rifle, they also got the general purpose machine gun. Basically the Belgian M58, shaped for the same cartridge as this. However, initially, when you're in places like Malaya, you haven't got enough general purpose machine guns coming in. So what you do, you have to do this. And you rechamber some brand guns for the 7.62 NATO round. Now, because the 7.62 NATO round has the same muzzle calibre as the 303, and it's actually a slightly shorter cartridge case, it's a relatively simple conversion. Um, you convert a number of these red guns to 7.62. You can see here the very obvious diagnostic feature is this straight magazine here. 7.62 NATO is actually a rimless cartridge, so the magazine is much straighter. You also typically see these reinforcers here on both sides of the gun where you've actually changed the grip to the new cartridge. Most of the 7.62 brands are conversions of Mark II. You so you can see here Mark II, the ladder rear sight. This is designated as the L4. Different versions go up to L4A8. The one you encounter most of here is this, which is the L4A4. Um, feeds from this 30 round straight magazine, strips off just like a Bren gun. I say just like a Bren gun because, of course, it is a Bren gun. It will also take the magazine off the SLR, so we can simply take the mag off our SLR, pop that on. You are then good to go with the same ammunition as everyone else in your rifle section. So a rifleman can contribute a magazine to the Bren if you want to. Typically, the World War II Bren guns you issue with a spare barrel carried by the number two in a spare barrel carrier. With the L4A4, you actually introduce a chromed barrel. That's a bit more expensive than the North than the old Bren barrels. It also heats up more slowly, wears out more slowly, so they actually only issue the one barrel with the gun. The advantage of the Bren for things like jungle warfare or in the Arctic warfare thing is that the box magazine protects the rounds much better than a belt. So for example the Royal Marines who are assigned to the Ace Reaction Force from Norway, they tend to keep a lot of these because obviously you've got belted ammunition in the snow, it gets into the belt, it freezes up, gun jams, box magazine will keep that off the round. Um, come the Falklands in 1982, the Marines take these guns to the Falklands as extra firepower as a second machine gun in the section. Because your section's already carrying extra belted for the 762 Jimpy, don't generally have the ability to carry yet more magazines for the L4A4 as well. So they tend to be used mostly as heavy automatic rifles. Last to see them, a few of them occur in 1990 uh, on AA mounts on sunset line vehicles, but broadly they serve into the 1980s. Apart from the straight magazine, the other diagnostic is this SLR flash hider. And although the design of the sights stays the same, they are recalibrated for the ballistics of the new round. Other than that, it does essentially look exactly like your World War II round gun. Thank you very much.